Hello everybody, happy Sunday. I just got back from brunch with Ryan. It was such a lovely morning. I love waking up on a Sunday not hungover. It's so nice. So I've been dealing with a little case of the August blues, I call them. So I'm two years post-grad and I think the last few years, when August comes around, I my body, my mind, everything feels like I should be going back to school, like prepping for the dorm or my apartment, like classes, like my body just feels like this is a time where change happens. I mean, for like 22 years of my life, or maybe like 20 years of my life, I was going to school. So I've decided to call it the August Blues because I've had this the last couple of Augusts where it's like back to school time, but I'm not going back to school. I don't know if any of you guys feel this way. I've talked about it a little bit before, but I've been dealing with it. And I'm like, why am I feeling so funky? And I was like, well, I'm about to start my period and it's August. And I love August. It's still summer. Like it's definitely not like cold out yet. While I'm excited for fall, I still got it bask in the sun. So we're calling this video beating the August blues. We're just gonna beat the August blues right here. It might just be me, so this might not be relatable at all. But yesterday was Saturday and I pretty much just took the whole day and like did some cleaning out. I went to the container store. You can go watch on my TikTok. I did like a whole vlog. I bought, I'll show you guys too today, but I got like baskets and more organizational stuff because since I've decided that I'm staying in this apartment, it's like, okay, let's make this a full home. There's just like some little corners I have that are just not organized and just things that are unfinished. And when it's like, oh, my lease is about to be up. And if you're not gonna stay, why do those things? But I decided I'm staying. Anyways, today's a continuation of that. It's a little bit of a Sunday reset. It's a little bit of a like major clean out. I have a whole list on my phone of things I want to get done today, so we'll see how much we can get done. And my best friend just moved to New York City and she's been moving all weekend, but she said tonight if I want to stop by, I can't. My best friend Caitlin moved to New York. It's such a dream to have her, Delaney, Ryan, Brooke, like all my besties here. It's so amazing. I guess I should say, for me, cleaning is very therapeutic. I also just feel like you know, if you, this is your sign, this is your reminder to make your apartment or your living space your home. You know, this is where you are every day and it affects your mood. And I love my place, but there's still like a couple things that I'm like, oh, it's unfinished. And since around this time of year is when I'd be moving into a dorm or like my college apartment, or I've pretty much moved every year of my life and this is the first year I'm not moving. I feel like I'm just like craving some move-in vibes. So I'm just gonna do a little updates on my apartment. And I think it's fun. So join along with me. Something I actually did yesterday, which it's just something I don't do a lot. I actually cleaned my shower curtain. It's from Brooklyn, of course, but it does get dirty on the bottom. So I took it off, I put it in the wash and I washed it. Oh my gosh. I just got a laundry detergent from Capri Blue. Who knew that they had laundry detergent? This stuff, this is what you smell when you like walk into a cute boutique, like, or, you know, anthropology burns Capri Blue a lot. It literally smells so good. It's the volcano scent which is the best one, arguably. And I, this is the first thing I washed with it, and my whole bathroom smells amazing. So I, I'm not washing my sheets today. I usually wash my sheets every other Sunday, and my whole bathroom smells like it. So I wanna wash my sheets with Capri Blue laundry detergent. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick up around here. But yeah, it's like things like washing your shower curtain that you don't really think to do, but it, it can boost your mood, I'm telling you. Like for example, I bought this at the container store yesterday. It's just like this little canister. I actually think it's technically for food, but it's so cute. It goes with my bathroom. I put tampons in it because the box isn't cute and it's so obvious. So I just, time of the month, I'm just gonna put this above my toilet or on the counter. Boom, done. In one of my recent vlogs, I was asking you guys about this corner. So this piece of furniture is beautiful. It's just not super functional because it doesn't store a lot. Like I literally just have hats and belts. So, and then I'm hiding a ton of tote bags and like duffel bags behind there. So I went on Wayfair and I don't think it's coming till tomorrow because I really wish it was coming today because it's like the perfect day to like build furniture. But I bought like a different little like cabinet, kind of looks like the one in my living room that I'll put all the bags and stuff. And then I'm kind of, I, I don't really know because I like having my belts and shoes on display, but I've also seen those like circular stackable things you can wrap your belts in and then you have all your belts in a stack and I could get like a hat storage thing. I don't really know, but I do. It's just like a little cluttered. A lot of you guys suggested I just get rid of this chair. I just love it. I never sit here ever, but, and I could put a more functional piece of furniture. So I'm still feeling that out. I'm gonna see how much that piece of furniture helps. It's like I have all these tote bags as well over here that I hide. And I feel like it would just feel a lot better in here if everything was kind of less cluttery. So I'm gonna see how many of those can fit in that piece of furniture. And if they don't all fit, maybe I'll sell this chair. 
and put like another piece of furniture over here. I don't know, maybe I could get the same one and then they're like catty corner to each other, I don't really know. The first order of business is we need to get the laundry and the dishes going, I feel like, because that takes a while, you gotta do loads. I mean, I only need to do one load of the dishwasher, but just might as well get it going. So I need to unload this and then reload it and then we'll do laundry. However, I need to hear a certain song. Guys, I cannot get Taylor Swift's new romantic song out of my head. Maybe because she just uh, announced 1989 Taylor's version, but like, I can't stop listening to it. Play New Romantics by Taylor Swift. a playlist right now called Teen Beats on Spotify and it's kind of hitting. It's like Olivia Rodrigo and I'm a Barbie girl dance the night or whatever that song the Nicki Minaj one is. It's good for cleaning. Um, quick intermission before I start laundry. Got all the dishes done. I want to put self tanner on my face because I find if I just do it during the day, it looks better because then, if, I mean, I do it before I go to sleep, but then sometimes it gets a little messed up because you're sleeping on a pillow. So I'm just going to self tan my face right now because my I got a hydrofacial and it just like took all the color off my face because um, I had like self tan on my face and then I tanned my actual body. Oh, there's another pad. Take it. Self tan routine <laughs> on my face. I use Tan Lux the face. Or like Isle of Paradise, I just switch up based off what I have available. And then I typically like to mix it with a serum. So I use the Sunday Riley CEO Glow. And I just put some CEO Glow in my hand. And I do like a fair size drop of the Tan Lux. And I apply it to my face, but you literally have to, you know, you have to really get it in there because if you miss, it shows. You gotta blend down to the neck as well because then you just have like a line. It's not foolproof, but it works and you just have like throughout the day, you guys will see I'll keep getting glowier hopefully. Now time for laundry. I want to show you guys a little few updates that I did to my apartment yesterday. I was having a day. I went to the container store and had way too much fun. I have always just hated it, so I really use the bottom of my coffee table for storage. Also, a lot of my items are linked in my last apartment tour like two years ago. So if you go find my apartment tour, Lower East Side, I think I linked this, but it's from Pottery Barn. Um, it's nice because it has like drawers and lots of storage. It's actually functional. Um, but I, I have a lot of candles and I have like fun drinking games and I just hated how you could see everything. And I found these baskets at the container store and I just think they go really well with my apartment. So in this one, I have all of my like fun card games and you know, all that. And then in these two, I was able to fit all my candles. Yes, I'm obsessed. Okay. Everyone's got their vice. <laughs> So I just think it looks a lot more elevated and it doesn't look as stressful here. So that was the first thing I did. And then as you guys know, this is a newer addition to my apartment in the last six months. I love it. It's from Wayfair and it just, my kitchen is pretty big, but I still needed more storage. So I keep all of my like water bottles, 
all of my element there and just like teas and stuff. And then down here, there's like an open shelf, which is nice for more storage, but it starts to look messy. So I got this basket um, and I actually measured everything before I went to the container store. I've got my laptop sun shader and then just like my little printer stuff in there. Just again, just looks nicer and cleaner there. I also bought these like command strips because I, I just need to hang this up and I've been putting it off and you know what? I'm a big girl, I can do it. So I'm gonna use these instead of like nails. Um, but this is a picture of me in Greece, fun fact, this summer. And I think I'm just gonna put it right here. Um, and then I love this little produce bowl. If you guys are wondering, it's from Urban Outfitters. I got it because my friend Kat had one and I needed it. So that's the deal there. Wait, why is this kind of a vibe? <laughs> we make do with the space we have here in New York. After years, I finally switched up my cosmetic case. We'll see how I like it. I had this like more square one from Sephora collection, but this one I saw on Amazon. Um, I will have it linked below. It's also linked to my Amazon shop, but I really like it. It fits all of my like everyday makeup. I like, I mean, right now it's the cleanest it'll literally ever be, but I like the shape. We'll see how it goes in suitcases because the other one I've been using for years was this one. So it's more flat. Oh my God, it's disgusting, but I'm saving it in case I miss it. So it's nice for suitcases because it's flat. But, I mean, this store's the same amount of stuff, it's just a different shape, so I feel like it doesn't really make a difference. My friend had a birthday dinner last night, and I had all these different outfit ideas, <laughs> and I just left them on this chair, so I need to put those away as well. Okay, there's a couple projects I'd like to work on in here. Oh my god, one. Ugh. Seeing this in this lighting, I need to wash my bath mat. I'm constantly washing it. I kind of want to get one that's, like, gray, maybe, so you can't see the dirt as much. But I also like the clean white look, so... And I'm constantly swiffering my floor. I probably need a swiffer today. There's so much to do. I do this every few months, but I need to go through... This is a shower caddy. Or not a shower caddy. It's just like a bathroom caddy with roller wheels. Um, got it on Amazon. It came from my last apartment as well. I love it. I love being able to put... Just like use everything. Um, need to go through it, clean through it, you know, just so it's not as hectic. And then also my under the sink storage was honestly popping. And then Brooke said the other day she was in here and she was looking for some, she was looking for tampons and she opened this and was like, I cannot believe how much stuff you have in there. This is pretty organized, like down here, my masks. But when I'm doing my hair and stuff really quick, I just kind of throw things. So I'd like to go through that today. <laughs> not seem like much this is a lot more organized for me it's organized chaos I also went through and literally cleaned every shelf so there's no dust it's just nice and clean I just kept like a few emergency hair ties here deodorant like my favorite perfume at the moment right now I'm using noir from Le Labo makeup clips q-tips um, like a nail filing set clear hair ties and then my toothbrush retainer tongue scraper Dyson Air Up, Dyson Air Straight, my hair brushes up here. Then I have my blow dryer on the side. And then yeah, I mean, it doesn't look amazing, but I just cleaned everything through, 
organized through the products I'm actually using right now and then put the ones that I'm not using right now under my sink. And then I've got like more things in those bins. So I feel, I feel good. And then to me, this looks a lot nicer. I went through, so these, both of those bins are hair products. This bin is body and self tan. And then that is like face and body, mainly face. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy. I can actually see everything again. You just, you just, you get lazy and then you have to do stuff like this every now and then. I mean, my bathroom looks amazing right now. <laughs> Alas, we are done. I just finished the final touches. So I went through my shower, which again, I do every, I don't know, five, six months. And I go through all my products. Like I literally have like empty shampoo bottles in here. Like that needs to be recycled. Um, so I just condensed everything. Like what am I actually using right now? Like I was saying before. So I try to organize it like shampoos to body washes, body scrub, body scrub, body wash. And then I always keep my razor there. And then my face wash I'm using right now. My, I've been like washing my eyebrows. It's like brow shampoo. Eucalyptus oil, I'll put it in. Um, and then look how happy and fun this is. I just had to put all the pinks together, Vega more stuff together, and then some more carousel shampoo. This is a body lymphatic drainage thing from Rise Up Beauty. Uh, so yeah, I my goal was, because this is what I did in my last apartment, I try to make it so everything is behind my shower curtain so I can keep it like half open because then it feels more open in here. And then I had fake candles here, but they just looked too fake. So we have a candle lit right now. Obviously it won't always be lit, but I think it looks very nice and inviting in here now. Still need to swiffer the floor. I'm literally putting that off hardcore. Also, I've been trying to be better about putting this whey scalp serum in my hair or on my scalp to like help with hair growth and stuff. So I feel like if I put it out, I've been using it more, which is definitely true. This is the best hand wash in the entire world. If you want to up your hand wash game, Byredo Suede, it's so good. Like it's so good. It's expensive. So good, and I have the matching hand lotion, of course. I had my bite retainer here too, but it was red and it was killing the vibe, so we put it over here. This is the colorful area. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really happy. I'm still kind of debating on getting a bath mat, so we'll see. And then obviously we've got my hidden tampons and my Jo Malone Wild Fig and Cassis diffuser. It smells amazing. And then this is a nest candle. I think it's like the, it's like the grease one, like the... It's like Santorini olive oil and some, I don't know. It's, it smells good. It's like citron smelling. Um, so yeah, bathroom is done. This was like my least, I was least excited about this and now we're done. Okay, I actually changed my mind. This is the task I was least looking forward to. The bathroom wasn't that bad. I have this amazing storage in my like laundry area, which I am honestly so grateful for because I don't know where I'd put all this stuff. However, it's getting cluttered. When I go to change my sheets, I don't know which is what, and it's just a mess in here. Like the top ideally is like my laundry buffet as I used to call it, but now it's like a mess. So, Ugh, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to be so happy and it'll just make life easier going forward. So we're going to organize this. I was in my bathroom kind of just thinking about things well one i'm buying i'm on amazon i'm buying a scooper for my ice because i can't believe i don't have one 
found this that I think I just measured and it will fit in my shower caddy and I or my bathroom caddy. I think I could fit my retainer, my toothbrush and toothpaste in there. And then this is like a super small little three-tiered scrunchy acrylic holder. So I think I'm gonna get that and I can also put it on my caddy and put on my hair ties, which will be even easier. So pumped about these orders. haven't been this happy in so long look how good this is I actually like folded all of my towels organized them by color like this is amazing and then on the bottom I have like a picnic blanket and beach towels hand towels stuff like that then I have all of my sheets I have my linen my regular white sheets and my pink sheets now that I've organized my sheets I kind of want to switch up my current sheets with my linen sheets for summer then I have all my pillowcases here. This is kind of a random shelf, random stuff. And then my laundry buffet and my steamer, stuff like that. This is paradise. I also switched up my towels here. I'm not a big washcloth user, but I'm trying to be better. And I always forget when I have friends over, if I only have this towel and they wash their hands, this is what they have to use. And I, I'm fine with, like, I get it but it's my responsibility to have a hand towel here as well for them. So we've got this and then this I'm gonna try and like wash my face with. We'll see how it goes, but obviously all Brooklyn in cause I love them. I'm listening to this episode of Skinny Confidential, how to constantly level up in life. I love when Lauren does a solo episode. She is seriously so smart, has the best tips and it's really getting me through this cleaning session. So I highly recommend this episode. Okay, I forgot to show you guys the before cause I was on the phone, but I'm like constantly, this closet, is very it, it's it's got some good organization for sure but it's very condensed in here and it easily can get really cluttered so this is where i keep all of my pants so i was just kind of refolding so i'm trying to organize like denim black leather white cargo and then i t literally took all of my sweaters out and refolded them so i have like all of my bar sweatshirts these are actually all crew necks right here sets sets um more sets uh more sets <laughs> all my sets basically on this side and then I have like thicker winter sweaters, um, just some other sweaters, striped sweaters, neutral, more summery sweaters, like lighter ones. And then those are more thicker, neutral sweaters. And then I went through this and organized it as well. I like started to do it by color and then I kind of did it by like material over here, like leather here, bomber jackets here, vests back there. Um, because before you know it, I'll be pulling for those, unfortunately. I've got a couple like swim stuff I need to put up there with all my swimwear, but it's looking pretty good in here. I'm gonna start the week off so fresh. Wow. Took a quick pause to get some fresh blooms. So for myself, I got these hydrangeas. I I asked her, I was like, how can I make them last longer? And she said, cut them every day and change the water every day. So I'm gonna try that. Um she also gave me flower food as well. And then my best friend, like I said, Caitlin moved here and my friend Morgan and I are gonna go bring her flowers. So I asked the woman, I was like, can you just make something pretty for me? I gave her my budget and she went from there. However, I'm realizing she wrapped it so beautifully and now I need to put it in water because we're not going till later. I should have just gone right before we went, but they were gonna close. So I'm gonna have to undo this. But look how pretty. All righty, the last load of laundry is being done. That feels amazing. However, as laundry starts to become dry, that means I have to fold it like as soon as I can so it doesn't get wrinkly. Another task I don't enjoy, but I'm always very happy once it's done. I'm listening to a podcast right now, let's do this. I also do wanna expose myself here and highlight the fact that yes, I'm getting my shit together over there, but I'm very blessed to have this amazing long hallway where I put stuff that I don't wanna see. Um, and I don't know what I would do without this hallway, honestly. Don't be, don't, 
what's the word? Don't fret because we've all got that area where we throw stuff so everything else looks nicer. I also got the Mrs. Meyers Lavender Surface Spray because this is what they had at our Airbnb in Montauk and Brooke and I were talking about how we wanted to get it for our apartments because it just will smell like the house. So I'm gonna clean the countertops with this just to feel like I'm in the Hamptons again. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little things. It's the lavender scent, but it doesn't smell like lavender. Like it smells even better. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, my next project. I have this little corner here on my kitchen counter where I just, I need an area to put stuff. Like you just do. And I know everything can't be concealed perfectly, but I just, this area really stresses me out, um, but I also need it. So I just, so this is from Amazon. And then I also just bought this from Amazon. It's wooden. Um, and I just keep like just, Everything that I always have over here, I just want as much of it concealed as possible. Um, but I have like my supplements case and then my birth control killers. I feel like I'll forget. Um, but I also just ordered one more thing and I might get rid of that one and just have this. It's like two wooden things because that one's plastic. This is wood. I don't really know. It's when you Google like basically I looked up like desktop organizers to find these things and they work. But I don't know what would be best for here because I went in, in a perfect world. I could conceal all of this. Like this would just all be enclosed. Almost like almost like a old school like bread basket that like a like a bread drawer. I feel like my mom used to have one of those. Um so we're this is a work in progress, but it looks better now. It looks nice and clean. And then I usually just keep like tissues right there too. So then it just makes it messy. I should probably get like a tissue cover for this. I don't know. Again, you guys always have amazing ideas and I really appreciate when you guys comment. So any suggestions you have for me are welcome. Um, I love having my Amazon Echo right here. It's literally the best. I've had it forever. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean like, I don't know. I just want it to stay as clean and simple right here as possible. So, yeah. Girls. We have just done so much today. I emptied the chair. Everything is now hung up, which feels amazing. All laundry has officially been put away. I repeat, all laundry. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit more clarity too on my room. I just wanted to feel more cozy and less hectic. Like it is cozy, but for sure, looking at two nightstands that actually have like drawers and stuff. So it just looks more like I said earlier, like concealed, like very simple. And then I take things out as needed. I would probably literally just have my hatch alarm and my coaster. And then hopefully that would also block all of these cords and wire covers. If you know, you know, like I said, I have a piece of furniture coming here. I think tomorrow I'll get rid of that. Probably. I'm also starting to think more and more about getting rid of this chair. The more I'm here, I just don't need it. It's gorgeous. It was amazing in my last apartment because I had it in the living room. Um, and then I'm kind of thinking this plant is fun and all, but it's always felt a little random and I might just sell it and get like sell some of this stuff because I don't know. It's just not serving this room as much as it did my last room. And I also need to figure out what to do here because that's like where I have to put my Wi-Fi. I hate that it's in my bedroom for some, I just like don't love that. Um, but again, if I get a bigger nightstand, I'm hoping it'll kind of conceal this area. I don't know. Any ideas are welcome. This suitcase, I really think it has to stay here. I might be able to fit it above my washer dryer, but that is another day. That's another day as task. And a lot of you guys told me to put bags in here, which was a good idea, but I forgot I also have my smaller suitcase in here. So I could fit like some, but I want to see how many bags, like my tote bags and duffel bags I can fit into this new piece of furniture. And yeah, I don't know. I'm also just talking it through, but I just needed to share this with you guys. I also don't need this. It's nice sometimes if I need a little bit extra light on like a really dark day or if it's at night. Um, but yeah, that's the little update there. This looks a lot more welcoming now that I moved my suitcase over there. Operation make my bedroom the best it can be. <laughs> The last few things I wanted to get done today are computer related. I'm going to do a Whole Foods order so that tomorrow all my groceries get delivered and I'm set up for the rest of the week. I want to get ingredients for like two different meals because then I can have them for leftovers, for lunch, stuff like that. And just, I always have breakfast stuff here. 
And then I'm also just gonna start my research on nightstands, see what I'm liking, measure out what could work there. Um, but yeah, let's do it. All right, I am done cleaning and working and now I'm gonna go to my friend's apartment where she's probably honestly cleaning and organizing stuff because she's moving. I just re-wrapped the flowers. I think I did an okay job and I put a little paper towel around the bottom with some water so the water, so the, I don't know, I, I see people do that. I mean, look how cute this is. My friend Morgan's meeting us and Morgan said she has a ton of vases that she like needs to get rid of. So she's gonna bring one so we can put the flowers in there. I also just like had to change. I've been in that exercise dress all day. I've like wiped my dusty hands on them. Like it just had to happen. So I'm wearing this little like romper situation from Set Active. I haven't worn it out yet. Um, and then in case I get chilly in her apartment, I just tied this Lululemon jacket around my waist. I'm wearing the same sneaks, all that, and I just pulled my hair back. Um, I'm pretty sure it's still pretty toasty out there. Honestly, this kind of works as like a little belt situation, so my butt's not completely out. When I tell you now my literal best friends in the whole entire world now live in New York City, since Caitlin's moved here, like this is crazy to me. I'm so thankful, so I'm just gonna go enjoy, wind down a little bit. Morgan's bringing Roey's pizza and salad, and we're just gonna chill. I probably won't really vlog. Um, but she moved to the West Village, so we're super close, which makes me so happy. And yeah, Delaney's been out of town the last two weekends, so I'm excited um, for her to be back. So next weekend, all of us can like get dinner and stuff and hang out. It's exciting. The August blues no more. Oh, it's so cute. Back now, I just lit a candle because my apartment kind of smelled weird when I walked in. But, but that's besides the point. Tonight was really nice. We ate pizza and she already had a couch, so we weren't even sitting on the floor. And it was so nice because her mom was there for a little bit too. And I mean, I went to high school with them, so it was nice to have her mom there. It felt like a little piece of home. And her apartment's coming along so nicely and she loved the flowers. I met her roommate, which I've actually never met before. They they're both lived in Charlotte. Um, and they both moved up here at the same time. So, and I'm sure I'm gonna be seeing a lot of her roommates. So it was nice to get to know her. And it was just so fun. And our friend Morgan came as well. We all went to high school together. We were like literally the best of friends. Like we had our grad parties together. And when we were leaving, Morgan and I like left together and she was like, this feels like college. And I was like, it's so true. And we didn't all go to college together. We all visited each other at our respective schools, which was really fun. But it felt like that because it was like, oh, let's go see Caitlin's dorm and meet her roommate. And then we went to, I dropped Morgan off at her dorm and then I came to my dorm. And I really enjoyed that. It was very fun. And I'm so happy we all live so close to each other. And it's just, I feel so lucky to have so many amazing people in my life live in New York City now. And just more and more people are moving here and I'm very grateful for that. So no excuses to not be happy. I'm very thankful. Needless to say, I'm pooped. We did a lot here today, but I feel like I'm really starting the week on a good note. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and there'll be more like it. I think August is on the up and up, um, but it did feel good to just like do this deep clean and I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next Wednesday for my next video. Bye!